Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Robert De Niro is spotted out with his baby and nanny in NYC after actors tirade that his biggest priority was to get rid of Trump. Robert De Niro was spotted heading out with his baby in New York City after the star reignited his feud with Donald Trump last month. The 80-year-old was spotted alongside his nanny and driver leaving their apartment in Manhattan on Wednesday. De Niro's driver carried his youngest child Gia, who he and partner Tiffany Chin welcomed into the world earlier this year. The actor left for around two hours. Chen was later spotted arriving home with shopping bags. The outing comes as De Niro told Rolling Stone in an exclusive interview released today that his number one priority is getting rid of Donald Trump. Speaking to the outlet, De Niro said, And my biggest concern now, with everything else, is us getting out of this situation with a monster in Trump. This is a classic grift. If you look at other totalitarian countries like Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union, it will affect everybody in ways you can't even imagine. Last month, De Niro claimed a portion of a speech he delivered at the Gotham Awards was edited out after it contained barbs aimed at the former president. The taxi driver star went on to deliver the section in full and then blasted Apple, the awards organizer, for deleting the speech. Speaking to the Rolling Stone, the legendary actor has since opened up about the ordeal. What happened was I was working on this speech with a writer, Louis Friedman, and he gave it to them, and then one of the consultants had put something in the speech about how kids in Oklahoma aren't even able to read the book, De Niro said. And then I didn't hear anything. They gave me the script, and I looked at the prompter, and I asked after, what happened? And they assumed that I had spoken to Marty, Scorsese, or somebody about it, but I hadn't. He continued, they assumed that I would be okay with it, and maybe I'm still getting it wrong, and I wasn't. Marty and I spoke about it the next day and he said, yeah, I had sent you a text and, Apple, asked if you could dial it down, respectfully. I didn't even want to blame them, but I was annoyed in the moment with whoever did it. De Niro also added, all I know is, Trump brings out the worst in people. He's a monster. I didn't think that in the beginning when he was first elected. I thought, maybe he'll straighten out. Now, this guy is beyond dangerous, and I just hope people can realize it. The remarks made by De Niro in his speech last month prompted the former president to brand the actor a total loser on his truth social platform. Robert De Niro, whose acting talents have greatly diminished, with his reputation now shot, must even use a teleprompter for his foul and disgusting language, so disrespectful to our country, Trump wrote. He has become unwatchable both in movies, and with the fools that destroyed the Academy Awards, bringing them from one of the top shows in the country to a low-rated afterthought, he added. De Niro should focus on his life, which is a mess, rather than the lives of others. He has become a total loser, as the world watches, waits, and laughs. The two-time Academy Award winner has been open in his criticism of the former president, stepping up his barbs ahead of the 2016 election. Last month, he sent a statement to be read in his absence at the Stop Trump Summit, which was organized by the New Republic magazine. In November, De Niro was ordered to pay $1.2 million in damages to his former assistant as part of a gender discrimination lawsuit. While the jury found De Niro was not personally liable for the abuse, it said his company, Canal Productions, engaged in gender discrimination and retaliation against former assistant Graham Chase Robinson and should make two payments of $632,142 to her. De Niro was accused of bullying Chase Robinson and branded a creep by his former staffer for requesting back scratches. He erupted while giving evidence, shrieking shame on you Chase Robinson, after denying he was an abusive boss. De Niro has been ensnared in dueling lawsuits with Robinson since she quit in April 2019. Both he and Chen took the stand during the weeks-long trial. Source, DailyMail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.